Local 5 Live. Robotic knee surgery has really changed replacements for the better. We're going to talk with a local doctor about the procedure. <laughs> Welcome back. We are starting to have a great conversation this morning with a fantastic guest about knee replacements because robotic assisted surgery really has changed the game. Yeah, and the, the need for uh, replacements is expected to increase 673% by the year 2030. Now, new technology involving robotic surgery is making things better for patients. Dr. Patrick Oma joins us from the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute of the Fox Valley. Good morning to you. Nice to see you. Very excited to be here. Thank you both for having me. Yeah, well, Dr. Oma, let's talk a little little bit about the Mako total knee and how it differs from normal total knee replacement. Yeah, so the Mako total knee is a okay. robotic assisted platform that allows us to be more accurate and precise as surgeons when we perform a knee replacement operation. It starts about two weeks before the operation. Mm -hmm. We actually have the patient get a CT scan of their knee and it's really cool. We then create a customized three-dimensional model of the knee and I, in essence, can perform like a virtual operation before the operation. Wow. Where I can use the, the patient's customized knee and put the knee implant where I want it to make sure the range of motion and alignment and balancing are correct. So then when I'm actually doing the operation, I'm going according to the pre-surgical plan. I still make the incisions and I still make sure everything is precise and accurate. Then I bring in this robotic arm and it doesn't let me deviate from this plan so I can make the perfect cuts in the bone every time. So I can make sure I have the right implant, that the patient gets the best range of motion possible and their knees as stable and balanced as possible. It's so cool that what I've noticed in my own patients, they're doing better the first six weeks and three months after the surgery mm -hmm. than if they had the traditional knee replacement. So this Mako robot assisted uh, platform has really changed for the better the way joint replacements are done. It's totally awesome. And that impact is amazing to have that, that quicker healing recovery time. Talk about the quality of life your patients are able to achieve much quicker. Yeah, so, you know, joint replacement surgery and most of orthopedics in general is a quality of life improvement, right? Mm -hmm. So as an orthopedic surgeon, I'm tasked with improving people's quality of life. And a joint replacement procedure is a great way to improve quality of life. So. We live in this age of amazing data, right? There's data all around us, from our wearable technology to all these different imagings, or we were talking about earlier, Netflix follows our data, right? Yeah. So we can take all this data and we can then plug it into this software and create the best possible operation. And so it's anatomic and it's accurate. Mm -hmm. So if we can create a better knee replacement for a patient that matches their anatomy, it stands to reason that they'll have better short-term outcomes, which I've seen in practice. But imagine this, knee replacements we used to say would wear out in 20 years, mm -hmm. but we can be so accurate now, we might be able to extend that life of a knee replacement for 30 years. And so if we're all gonna live to be 100 these days, the way medicine's going, we should expect to live to be 100. So if we're 60, boy, it's nice to have a knee that lasts 30 years rather yeah. than 20 years. So it's like really, really exciting stuff. That's a huge difference. Now I know you work on more joints than just knees. Do you expect this to impact some other things that you do too? Yep, so robot assisted surgery has significantly changed the orthopedic industry. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's applicable for partial and complete knee replacements, total hip replacements uh, for the Mako robot assisted platform. And it stands that will improve uh, and go to other joints as we go along. But the real big things right now for joint replacement surgery are the total knee replacement, partial knee replacement, and total hip replacement. Um, and, and with the, the knee replacement, it's also important, you may not need a total knee replacement. You might be able to get away with just a partial kneecap replacement or replacing just one compartment of the knee. And the robot assisted platform allows us to do that more accurate and precise than ever before. Well, a great place to start is a conversation with your doctor, and you can find Dr. Oma at the Orthopedic and Sports Institute of the Fox Valley. Yeah, he is in De Pere and Appleton. You can give a call to 920-560-1000 or find out more online, both about this procedure and about Dr. Oma, OSIFV.com. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.